So Logo asked me to talk about historical gay things and facts that happened, and I have no clue, so this is my interpretation of what they are, and then I'll correct it later, and then you can find out how stupid I am. Everyone wins, except for me. I just look like a dumbass. Hey guys, it is Sunday, October 13th. It's another day in gay history, and today we're talking about in 1924, it was the first gay group ever to come together and I think it was probably some sort of like lesbian drum circle. Probably. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> yes and. Do you want to be my drum? Sure. Vages are beautiful. Vages are fine. I like vages. I eat them all the time. I eat them for my breakfast and I eat them for my lunch. If I had a million vages, I'd eat them all at once. That was their theme song. That was it. Snap, crackle, pop. Wow, that's what my cheerleading group always used to do. Too. Yeah, it's weird. I'm <laughs> part of this lesbian cheerleading group. Lesbian. Lesbian. Because a slut and lesbian. Yeah. Just lesbian. Exactly. I know some of those. The Society for Human Rights was an American gay rights organization started in Chicago in 1924. This is a three pager, folks, so hang with me. Get ready. It was the first gay rights group to receive the official charter from the state government and produce the first American periodical for homosexuals called Friendship and Freedom. Are you subscribed? <laughs> yes, we Hell both are. A few months after being chartered, the group disbanded due to the arrest of some of the society's members. So today's Sunday, October 13th. Make sure you check out newnownext.com, logotv.com, the Logo YouTube channel, and make sure you comment and like and share and tweet and post and dance and twerk and work. I love you guys. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace out.